Ah, oh, wow, that's fantastic. That felt good to get that out. That was really awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm here with master painters, Alora and Josh. Yes. Awesome. And you guys have been working on this amazing Tyranids project. Tell yes. us all about it. Okay, so tons of gaunts. Um, this guy, his name is Kevin. He uh, wanted purple and blue Tyranid. And super smart idea. I actually played Tyranid as well. And I always have a hard time telling my gaunts apart. Uh, but he gave us, you know, very clear instructions. Some red, some green, some blue. So I picked out the guns and just showed oh, wow. the details that... Yeah, it's very subtle. Yeah, like so they you, still you look don't insane. you don't see, you know, looking at them as a group, it all looks like they're the same, but some yeah. of them have different, slightly different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, no, so that was great. Um, same thing with the bigger guys too. We picked out um, different red, green, and blue. Yeah, this is okay. So now we've eaten our vegetables. Uh -huh. Now we can eat dessert. But just before yes. we move on, I wanted to point out these tail conversions. Yeah. That is not easy. That's like, if he had to have like a zillion of these little spikes installed on them for them all to be different. I think 120. Yes. Yeah, there's 120 pounds. <laughs> oh, did you do that? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that was us. So you actually modified the tails too. Yep. How do you do that? A lighter and lots of spikes. <laughs> so you actually, you actually take a lighter to a them. Lighter. And when you burn GW plastics, it shrinks a little bit. I clip the tip and then you got the spike on it. So you get rid of that melted part. Right, perfect. Okay, good. I've seen a tutorial. All right, tell me about these other guys. Like what, um, what steps did you use? Hey, we're, <laughs> hey, we're, tr we're gonna find you. <laughs> All right, the hide and seek trick only worked so far. Right. Watch and learn guys, yeah. watch and learn. Okay, so anyway, uh, okay. So talk about the different steps that you put in on these and the paint you used and so forth. Okay, yes. So I'll let you start since you're... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to contribute to what's happening here. Okay, okay so for ahead. the primer, we started with the black and then we did actually a purple overspray. Which, These are for the lower levels. Yeah, for the lower levels. And then after we did the purple, we did um, the Warlord of a mix. And then when we did the purple on the higher levels, we actually used an airbrush and we just like mixed together dark purple. I actually don't know what that color was called. Warlord purple? No, it was Royal. like a, it was a, Royal purple? It was a special one too. Royal okay. purple and warlord and then we just kind of like built it up throughout and then we also edged some of the higher levels as well for the purple. Mm -hmm. so right, it's like, like this that? kind of like pinkish purple thing yeah. going on which I yeah. think is really nice. Yeah. So the air, but the airbrushing part was like four stages? Yeah. Yeah. Possibly more from what you were telling me earlier. Yeah, it's a lot of just like mixing in, trying to be pretty subtle with the highlights. So yeah, a couple of steps. And then with the level six, we actually did, um, why am I forgetting? Edging on it with like mm -hmm. Warlord mixed with like Pelisandas and stuff. Right, and they, they have a lot of like, they have a lot of edges to them, very mm -hmm. organic, uh, very organic and clearly defined areas yeah. on the model. Mm -hmm. I love how these, uh, like if you pull back, they almost seem like they're glowing. Uh, you know, yeah. like they're full of some sort of, I don't know, schluck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably a dirty yeah. word in some language. <laughs> one of the, you know, there's a mother in the kitchen like stirring, what did he say? <laughs> did he say schluck, you turn that off. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're never listening to BTP again, oh. all. right, so what else, guys? Any, any uh, last comments on this uh, project? Um, nope, I mean, after that, we just picked out the blue. Um, so that we did um, dark, so Vallejo, dark Prussian, royal, turquoise, and then sky blue. Okay. And um, the way to get that feather effect, um, you know, you earlier were saying that some people just go in and pick every single line out. Um, right, but, with a hair brush. Yeah, um, I just got a little bit bigger brush and just kind of like squished it so all the bristles spread out. Right. And it's really hard, you have to control how wet it is, but if you get the, the paint wet enough, you can kind of just streak it and it'll go on like four or five little lines at a time. And they kind of stay the same size too, so they're not doing different widths and stuff. Uh, and yeah, and it's actually very convincing. I would not have known the difference. So, uh, okay, uh, any last comments from you, master Yay. artist? 
was fun. <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, the project. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Kevin, awesome guy. Yeah. yeah he was really, really good to work cool. with. Yeah. Very nice. Fantastic. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks to all you fans and clients. Uh, and there's, there's more to come. <laughs>